His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkia Muizzaddin Waddawla ibn al Marhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Saadul Khariwaddin, Sultan and Pertuan of Brunei Darussalam, last night attended a royal audience with their Majesties King Maha Wachira Longkon Prat Wachira Klau Chau Yuhua, King of the Kingdom of Thailand, and Queen Suttida Pakra Sukta Tikmunlak, which was held at the Chakri Maha Prasad Throne Hall, Bangkok. Accompanying His Majesty the Sultan and Pertuan of Brunei Darussalam, was His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Martin. Upon arrival at the Chakri Mahaprasad Throne Hall, His Majesty was welcomed by His Excellency General Surayot Chalanon, the President of the Privy Council and Spouse. His Majesty then joined APAC economic leaders for the royal audience with His Majesty the King of the Kingdom of Thailand and Her Majesty the Queen. Also present at the ceremony was Her Royal Highness Princess Siri Vanavari Nari Ratana Rajaghanya. APEC economic leaders were in Bangkok to attend the 29th AELM held on the 18th and 19th November. Thailand as APEC chair hosted the AELM three times in 1992, 2003 and 2022. This year's AELM meeting is the first physical meeting post-COVID-19. His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkia Mu'azzaddin Waddawla ibn al Marhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Sa'adul Khairwaddin, Sultan and Indipertuan of Brunei Darussalam, in a tita, stresses the importance in accelerating recovery, strengthening trade and investment in a holistic and coordinated approach in the post pandemic era, especially for micro, small and medium enterprises MSMEs. In the tita, at the retreat session 2 of the APAC Economic Leaders meeting 2022, His Majesty the Sultan and Ipatuan of Brunei Darussalam also emphasizes the importance in helping MSMEs be future ready by widening their knowledge base to be more climate resilient, formulating a coherent and predictable policy environment to attract investors and entrepreneurs, in integrating them into the regional and supply chains, and equipping them with digital skills. Accompanying His Majesty was His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Martin. The retreat session too was held at Queen Sirikit National Convention Center, QSNCC, Bangkok, Thailand. With the theme Sustainable Trade and Investment, Session 2 of the retreat began with welcoming remarks by His Excellency Prayut chan -cha, Prime Minister of Thailand. At the session, His Majesty and other APEC leaders discussed issues on cooperation and exchange views on regional and international issues of common concern and listened to a presentation by the Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund regarding the global economic outlook. Good morning uh, to all. Uh, we met here in Taiwan three years ago last. And since then, the world has changed. By events, none of us foresaw coming at that time. During the retreat session to His Majesty in the TISA acknowledges the positive outcomes of the 12th World Trade Organization WTO ministerial conference that reflected its members' commitment to ensure that global trade remains unimpeded. His Majesty also calls for APEC to continue upholding the spirit of multilateralism and in engaging all stakeholders to ensure its role as an incubator will continue to contribute to the momentum of the WTO's ongoing work. In ending the TTI, His Majesty expresses support to the United States of America as it prepares to take over the APAC chairmanship for 2023 with a theme creating a resilient and sustainable future for all. At the APAC Economic Leaders Meeting, the APAC Economic Leaders have released two outcome documents, namely the APAC Economic Leaders Declaration and the Bangkok Goals on Biocircular Green Economy. The Economic Leaders Declaration highlighted APAC's work throughout 2022 during Thailand's chairmanship. This includes efforts on advancing the free trade area of the Asia-Pacific, FTAAP, safe passage, women's economic empowerment and sustainability through the Biocircular Green BCG economy model. Meanwhile, the Bangkok Goals on BCG economy seeks to affirm 
APEC leaders' commitment to continue advancing its sustainability objectives in a bold, responsive and comprehensive manner to address the heightened economic and environmental challenges and disruptions facing the region, while reinforcing and contributing to ongoing global actions. APEC is one of the valuable platforms that promotes dialogues, exchange of views and best practices on initiatives and policies that contributes to more conduct conducive economic climate. As an incubator of ideas, APEC also builds on economic and technical cooperation as well as capacity building programs on various areas. Brunei Darussalam's membership in APEC has thus enabled participation in these policy dialogues and capacity building engagements which can contribute towards achieving the goals of Wawasan Brunei 2035.